I don't even know what day it is. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today, we are gonna do an unboxing and a first thoughts review of the Prusa Core 1L. We'll dive straight in. Ooh. So, first up, most important gummies. Second up, I have a spare Nextruder nozzle. Power lead, 3D printing handbook with a thank you note signed by the man himself as always. I'm Joe Prusa. A build plate, a USB drive, the Prusa check packing list, some spare parts including grease and some screws and other bits and pieces. Prusa tools, Core 1 series spool holder and we have a buddy 3D camera. So all very swish. We will lift it onto the floor and then lift it from the box onto the table. <coughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Unleash the beast. So, spool of prusament and the machine. Oh. Packaging unpackaged. Do not clean the panels with IPA. So I did mention this on the previous video for the core one. Don't wipe any of the panels down with IPA because it will frost them over and destroy the Plastic. I shall remove the film. The... Oh! Side cutters, super duper. Some little zippy tires on the control panel, so I just snip them first. And carefully maneuver that out of the way without putting any strain on the cables. And then simply just tuck the cables back into the cavity. There we go. So make sure that's locked down into place. Remove the rest of the cardboard. And then we have transport screws which is a first, this isn't on the standard Core 1, but on the Core 1L, we've got three screws, very clearly marked by these little cardboard tabs. So I'll grab the tools, and we shall remove those. That's them. Okay, so the lid is a little bit different to the Core 1. It's clipped into place, opposed to rivet it into place. It will move around but I wouldn't let that concern you. I think that's to do with the automatic vent opening. Obviously, we've got a different heated bed. Looking at that, I'm guesstimating that's maybe five mil thick. It's quite chunky. So I shall open the build plate and pop that on, which is satin sheet. So you get a satin sheet included with the machine, double-sided as always. We shall pop that in. Close the door. Spool holder. So this is a new addition. Quite simply, just pushes in and twists into place. Power lead. Lights, camera, action. So we shall walk through the setup menu. First off, select English. Hi, this is your Prusa Core 1L printer. I would like to guide you through the setup process. Okay. Do you want to connect to Wi-Fi? Not at the moment, no. Before using the 3D printer, it is necessary to remove the three screws that secure the heated bed during transport. I've already removed those. Very, very clearly marked with a little sticker. So make sure that you do that before you proceed. Do you want to enable the door sensor safety feature? So for those of you who don't know what this is, basically, if you open the door, it will activate the machine to know that the door's been opened and it will pause printing. So it's a handy safety measure, especially if you're using it in an educational environment or if you've got small children around at home, you don't want them messing around with moving machinery. So as soon as you open the door, everything will stop. So we shall have that on. You can turn it off if you don't want it on. Continue. That is it. We are there. I will proceed to have a look at what filament we have. The obligatory Galaxy Black. Can't beat Galaxy Black. Remove the silica beads. We don't want those sat inside. So first thing I always do, as you can see on the end of the filament, it's a little bit wavy where it's been actually clipped into the packaging. Take your side cutters, slip it off on a 45 degree angle, pop that on the spool holder, feed it into the, the tube. It's already acknowledged something. So there's a filament sensor actually located in the, the part there. So we'll feed it through until we feel resistance. It has now picked it up, asking me what material type it is. So I shall select PLA. Basically, it'll heat the hot end now to the right temperature for PLA and then extrude a little bit and it'll ask me to confirm that filament has come through. If it hasn't, we can purge more. Just while it's doing its thing, I'll just run over a couple of little bits and pieces. The machine looks very, very similar to the standard core one. It isn't noticeably bigger, I wouldn't say, although you have got double the build volume. Here's the build plate 
out of a standard core one and here is the build plate out of the core one l so as you can see we're noticeably larger and obviously we've got higher z print height as well so it's a very clever way that they've actually engineered and designed the machine to not take up loads of workspace but to give you a larger print volume and again all the normal refinements polycarbonate door polycarbonate top you've got side panels that are polycarbonate again recess side your spool holder in the other side and the control panel is exactly the same as it is on the standard core one if you're used to using that machine this will be a breeze back of the machine we have the nfc reader for pairing to your internet network via your phone on the app which is handy the key difference is they have implemented smart feature automatically opens and closes the vent on the top of the machine based on the material you print in that will be generated via the g-code that you've sliced through your slicer so another handy addition but that is also being transitioned to the core one as well so you can upgrade so that is all good we shall click yes it's retract a bit of filament move that back from there and i shall find the usb we shall pop it in and see what's on it lots of things bonkers benji which is a claim to print in eight minutes so let's see what it can do eight not 18 eight minutes press print here we go so it's just basically come back to make sure that the vent is in the open position because we're printing with pla which it's open that's all good now it will heat the hot end to 170 degrees and the bed to 57 degrees just looking at what else appears to be different there isn't really anything that's outlandishly different it literally appears to have been scaled up the only thing that i can see is the actual cable that comes out on the back of the machine for the heated bed on the l model has a printed cover over the actual entrance port whereas on the standard it just comes through on a rubber grommet really that's about it i can't see anything else that's really noticeably different so one thing i did find a bit strange obviously when i've set Prusa machines up in the past you do have to go through quite a rigorous setup process you work your way through the menu the filament sensor calibration you'll tap the hot end there's literally none of that to do on this machine so that makes setup even quicker than it was previously we've done this real time you've seen how quickly i've had it out of the box set up and running the first print obviously if you build the kit version which i would imagine will be available that hasn't been confirmed so i'm i'm surmising you would have to do that yourself on that instance but for the assembled version like we have here you literally don't so it's now doing its bed mesh that's now waiting for the hot end to heat up to 235 degrees the bed is at temperature already so literally waiting for the hot end to get up to temperature and then it should fire into action so for those of you who aren't aware while it's getting ready to do its thing there are a number of additions that currently released and being made available like idex so you can have tool changes multicolor print very very efficient fast and reliable so if you wanted this machine to print multicolor you absolutely could do i know it is actually eight maximum on the standard core one you may be able to fit 10 in this which is insane those will be available very very soon so if you're looking for a, a multi-material printer this is definitely a worthy consideration if you want to have a look at what the idex bontech collaboration tool changer looks like please check out the form next video where we got to see it up close and personal we will leave a link to that video in the description so jump over there check that out and you can see exactly how it's set up and what it will look like with the actual tool heads installed basically they all run across this portion i know one of chris's bugbears was this metal bar that was in the way obscuring his view we now know there was a reason for that so as you can see we are flying through the be bonkers bench rules basically it's going to print one wall with minimal infill to print it as quickly as possible but it's a good test it's preloaded slice e code on the machines we will slice some more models and get those printed off as well exactly the same metal frame you've got the bed suspended on two smooth rods driven by three lead screws then you have smooth rods driving the y-axis and the x-axis is driven on a linear rail with belts so very efficient core xy design exactly the same as the core one you've got the status led bar at the front of the build plate telling you what the current state of play is 
blue is printing. When it finishes, it turns green. If you get an error, it glows red. Same neck extruder as on the standard machine. Very reliable, easy to switch out the nozzles. It's a proven system and it works. It's just very reliable. We haven't installed the buddy camera yet, but I'll get it out to give you a look. You have the buddy cam, which connects straight to your Wi-Fi network. Little instruction manual. So yeah, if you want live monitoring, pop this inside. There is a USB cable already in situ there. So pretty much you just plug it straight into the USB-C port, pop it in the corner and you're good to go. So three minutes in, 62%. And as always, this isn't the ideal table to have a printer like this on. It's all right for demonstration purposes, but if you're permanently housing the machine, solid. Solid surface is key. We are done. Exceptionally quick. And as I say, the LED status bar has turned green, letting us know we are good. So we'll pop it open, remove the little purge line. What they have done with this build plate, they've actually given a tab at the front, which makes it easy to, to lift the build plate out of the machine. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. An eight minute Banshee in very satisfactory quality as always. So yeah, what we will do, we will slice some more files, we will print some more things, and we shall leave those for you to look at on screen round about now. But first thoughts, I wouldn't expect anything less from Prusa. They've obviously wanted to evolve the range, keep the same look, pretty much core XY is the way forward with 3D printers. It'll be interesting to see if they come out with an Excel version. Who knows? We shall see. But typically, if you're looking for a very reliable mid-size Core XY machine that is capable of printing pretty much any material you want to put through it, this is definitely worth a look at. They have released an upgraded hot end for the Core 1 and the Core 1L, or anything with an extruder basically, which is a claim to go up to 400 degrees. So that again is going to open up a whole range of different materials and filament types that you will actually be able to print on this machine without any drama at all. Overall, first impressions as always, really, really good quality. To me, intuitive and user-friendly. Yes, you do pay a little bit more for them, but you get the, the longevity of the machine. Definitely worth considering, guys, if you're looking for something that's going to continually work over many years, this is one to consider buying because I don't think there's anything else currently on the market that offers what Prusa does offer. I know it swings around aroundabouts and all of that. It's personal preference. I've had the joy of using lots of different brands. For me, as a user, I just like Prusa because it, it works and they continually improve it. That's the main thing for me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and if you really like to, share. Please be sure to check out the website, 123.3d.co.uk. For this machine or any other machine from our range, the link for that will be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices on the market. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we'll do our very best to beat their price. Also, if you're watching from outside the UK, check the description for links to our European 123 3D sister stores.